if you are using a hybrid network in your company meaning if you have an on prem network and then you have cloud network which is aws then there is a great news for you aws has announced the availability of amazon cloud watch network monitoring which is a real blessing for the network administrators so if you are an aws customer who has a hybrid network or in other words you use vpn or direct connect to link to your on premises network within from your vpcs then now you can use cloudwatch network monitor to track end to end performance and availability this network monitor is a fully managed agent less service with aws managed probes attached directly to your customer vpcs it also includes network health monitor which enables you to have guidance about whether any detected issues is within aws or in a customer's on premises network currently what happens is that if users are experiencing some network drop outs or any network packet loss then it is very hard to pinpoint where exactly that issue is occurring whether it is on the on prem router or any on prem device or whether it is in the aws or in the direct connect or point of presence it really becomes very hard because you go through vpc flow logs you go through transit gateway logs you go through direct connect logs and then you talk to your direct connect provider you go to your firewalls and then when the on prem connectivity is affected or your cloud connectivity is uh, affected and users are screaming in your ear then it is become uh, becoming very very stressful to really pinpoint the issues and the exact root cause of them this is where i believe this amazon cloudwatch network monitor going to be a huge blessing now one thing i would like to point out is that there is a term called as gray failures gray failures is a scenario where different entities observe failures differently gray failures can be challenging to diagnose and resolve in the networking domain examples of gray failures are intermittent packet loss on a particular network link or fluctuating latency when these sort of failures occur one entity it could be the router might not observe any impact due to the degradation while another entity or in other words your customers your um, or maybe your uh, own application in the cloud may receive some sum of degraded functionality or latency this is where one scenario where it is very hard to diagnose the issue because you have retransmissions you have sliding windows and the nature of border gateway protocol or bjp which is a dynamic routing protocol used in aws direct connect and site to site vpn as a transport protocol it is very hard to diagnose the issue because it acts on the tcp layer and tcp can tolerate some level of network degradations but not a full blown one so still many aws customers uh, that require hybrid connectivity either via direct connect or site to site vpn need to detect grave failures as soon as they happen so that they have an option to steer the traffic away from the degraded path this is where this network monitor can be a huge blessing now let me show you how you can set it up within your own account in order to do that log in to your aws account then go to cloudwatch and once you're in cloudwatch on the left hand side under network monitoring click on network monitor and you will be presented with this new network monitor screen on this one the first step is to click on this orange button create monitor just give it any name like on prem mon and then you can set the aggregation period to either 30 second which is a default or to 60 second the aggregation period represents how often metrics produced by network monitor probes are published to cloudwatch and as i said the default is 30 second and normally this is a good value as aws relies on metrics produced by network monitor to quickly route around an impaired network path using automated actions which you can configure with your cloudwatch alerts okay now once you have your um, aggregation period set then it is telling you about the role it is going to create so that cloudwatch would be able to use it 
then it's always a good idea to put tags if you are using it in the prod environment then click on next now your network source as from which vpc you are getting connected so for example you can select your vpc and then any of the subnet range here so maybe just go with the one maybe i'll just select this one and then ip address now this ip address is from your on-prem and this could be uh, your firewall address or whatever um, address you use to connect to your um, on-prem network so for example you could even go with uh, 172 range it could be anyone i'm just using an example here so i'll just go with this one and here you can set the um, protocol which you use to connect to aws i'll just leave it up here another cool thing is that you can add three destinations so destination one is this then you can add further destination by two more destinations by clicking here click on next and then from here you can just set up the probes like we have done with icmp and then you can create more probes if you like then click on next and this is what all you need to do to create a monitor once you have once you're happy with your monitor just click on create monitor and aws will establish a connection between source and destination and then it is going to show you let me make it slightly smaller so that you'd be able to see it now here you can see that this is showing you the health of your monitor it is healthy at the moment and if it, there would be any degradation you would be able to see that uh, degraded stuff now you can uh, also see the packet loss if there is any and then uh, once you have the packet loss you can check out which at which time it occurs so that you can do any root cause analysis and there are other options of even creating the matrix around it such as these one which are shown on your screen and then uh, you can even uh, do the usual cloud watch stuff here like creating alerts on top of them and then you can do a lot of other things like cloud watch anomaly detection and then also you can alert yourself or any uh, paging device you want because in cloud watch there are a lot of other options so once that's done uh, make sure that you keep an eye on pricing too and the pricing for this is based on amazon cloudwatch pricing and i have to be honest it is quite confusing because there are a lot of things which are involved in cloudwatch pricing like metrics alarms logs and then look at these numbers uh, for example um, 10 alarm metrics and then 5 gb of data it's very hard to calculate from here to be honest even if you use a calculator so i would suggest just run it initially with one or two monitors to your on-prem keep an eye on the cost and then see how it goes don't create too many matrices and stuff just go with the uptime and icmp maybe just one or two probes and see how it goes and then you will get an idea around the pricing because you don't want to end up with a huge bill if you are probing your on-prem and your aws cloud networking continuously so that's it guys i think a quite good feature i would uh, really encourage and recommend this feature because this is a fully managed agentless feature that makes it very easy to monitor hybrid networking and it is also allowing you to troubleshoot and remediate networking issues faster so that you minimize any impact on your customer's experience so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere let me know and i'll be happy to answer and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.